Ladies and gentlemen, the Technology Academy of Finland wants to show a humane face of technology. We think that when we create this world further into the future, we want to do it in concert, not in conflict with technology. Today, we are going to announce awards given to four great innovations. Innovations that have greatly enhanced the lives of millions of people. They have helped create peace and wealth. They have created health and justice for millions and millions of people again. Today, we announce four in innovations. However, behind these innovations are six outstanding scientists in the world. One of the innovations is the joint work of three of them together. Previously, we have announced only one winner each time, the two previous times. When we now have enlarged this to four, this means that we sincerely mean that we need to have a broad approach of technology going into the future. The laureates, all six of them, will be called upon to arrive to Helsinki on the 11th of June to receive their awards and their medals from the hand of our patron, the President of the Republic of Finland, in a celebration that will take part on that day. On the evening, there is a grand banquet in their honor. Ladies and gentlemen, it is among these four inventions and six laureates that the prize jury, the prize committee and the academy then will award the big prize, the Millennium Technology 2008 prize. That winner will be announced in the morning of the 11th of June this year. Now I'm going to give the names and announce the event the innovations that receive the awards this year, 2008. I do it in no particular order, so there is no, no rank between the innovations that are listed right now. I'm also, after the announcement of each innovation, going to talk to Professor Makarov to give more details on those innovations. Now, the first innovation relates to development of innovative biomaterials. The innovator is the Institute Professor Robert Langer from MIT, Harvard MIT Division of Health Services and Technology in America, in the United States. Professor Makarov, could you a little bit describe this innovation and maybe also expand on the jury's uh, reasoning behind awarding this uh, award to Professor Langer? With pleasure, uh, Dr. Gustafsson. The International Selection Committee has recognized Robert Langer for his invention and development of innovative biomaterials used in medical applications. And these applications include tissue regeneration and controlled delivery of drugs, for example, in the treatment of brain cancer. The inventions of uh, Dr. Langer have saved and improved the lives of millions of people. Thank you. Uh, the next innovation relates to DNA fingerprinting. The innovator is Professor Sir Alec Jeffries from the Department of Genetics, University of Leicester in the United Kingdom. Professor Makarov, again I turn to you to give a better description on the innovation and on why you think this is worthy of this high esteem. The committee selected Alec Jeffries for his invention of DNA fingerprinting indeed. This technology is used in identification of individuals, for instance in immigration disputes, in paternity disputes, and in identification of criminal subs suspects. This invention has had a profound impact on the lives of millions of people, both in social issues and in issues of health and disease. So it is uh, 
in the form of justice to many. Indeed. Okay. Now, the third uh, laureate here today is connected to the Viterbi algorithm. And as the name already says, the innovator is uh, Andrew G. J. Viterbi, today President Viterbi Group, and Professor Emeritus of the University of Southern California in the United States. Uh, the Viterbi algorithm, please. The committee selected Andrew Viterbi for the invention of what we know today as the Viterbi algorithm. The algorithm is the building element of wireless and digital communication systems. Without the Viterbi algorithm, we'd, we would not have modern cell phones or I. Uh, pods. This invention has influenced worldwide societies as well as people in different aspects of their lives and as we know communication is a vital element of building democracies all over the world. Yeah, well, that sounds very good. Now the fourth is the shared in innovation. It is uh, connected with uh, telecommunications it is the invention and innovation of the erbium doped fiber amplifier, commonly known as the EDFA. And the team consists of three persons, Dr. Emmanuel de Suvivre, he is director of physics in the research group in Thales Corporate Research and Technology in France, Dr. Randy Giles, who is director of optical networks in Bell Laboratories, Alcatel Lucent in New Jersey, United States, and, last but not least, Dr. David N. Payne, who is a director of Optoelectronics Research Centre, University of Southampton, UK. The International Selection Committee uh, chose Emmanuel de Survir, Randy Giles and David Payne for their outstanding contributions in telecommunications through their invention and development of the Erbium doped fiber amplifier. Now this invention inv enabled the high capacity optical fiber network which is the global information superhighway. This amplifier en enables transmission beyond distances of over 12,000 kilometers and transmission capacity of a single fiber represents that of 50,000 movie channels. Uh, without this innovation, the World Wide Web would not function as it does today. Professor Mackerel, thank you very much for these. Uh, now understand that the Prize Committee has been unanimous in decision on these, on these awards. Ahead of you now lies a very, very tough job in choosing the best of the best, the primus inter pares. I can assure you that uh, this will be a very, very difficult task. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we will grant total autonomy and integrity for the prize committee. And therefore, Professor Makaro will not be available for interviews and comments after this event. I also hope that, that also the jury Will, we will respect their integrity and aut autonomy in their decision making. Therefore, well, ladies and gentlemen, with these words, see you again on June 11. Thank you very much. Gustafsson and Professor Makarov. Uh, and congratulations, all the four laureates. At the end of this webcast, you will see video presentations of these laureates. Uh, but before that, just a reminder that more information on the prize and on these personalities will be found on our website at millenniumprize.fi. Thank you audiences in London, Paris and New York and around the world at the webcast. We now end from Helsinki and we hopefully see you in Helsinki again next June on the 11th when the Millennium Technology Week is on and when we announce the winner of the main prize, the Millennium Prize 2008. Thank you very much again and goodbye from Helsinki. <laughs>